What if L and J Smash was in Smash? Fun. So, what will he look like? Oh no, I did it wrong. Because there's like, well, he will look like this, and I will create his legs in. Oh, it just his legs. His legs will look like this. And for his gimmicks. I mean, it's just going to be like a charging one. He will. It's a gimmick of having plans for a video. So, Eevee, more Peku, just every Pokemon that he has made. So, for his matches, his side smash is going to punch. His up smash is going to... Punch in the air, and then fire will come out. And his down smash will kick in a circle. Right, actually, it's like this. So for scraps, his pummel, as a scrap, his pummel. For his up throw, front throw. Back throw, down throw, and that was a hammer. So, time for his specials. So, for his neutral special, we'll give out a ton of plans for his videos. So, like, for the, so, like, it's for the gimmicks. I meant the gimmick. So, what it's going to be is video idea. Mokey Mouse and Galarian Trainer, Skid and Pump, Sonic .exe, and Torello, and that's what his gimmicks character will be. If those, if those any will be summoned, those characters will play through. So like his sites, so like those side special, up special are gonna change to those characters. So let's just start with the the normal character and then these characters. So for its side special, it's gonna use a magic where he grabs and then he he trumps him like Wario. So like Okay. So for his up B, he's gonna punch in the air and then jump without flames. So like this. So for his down special, it's gonna do a counter. And when it's hit, he will punch them. And then when it's punched, it will do a Bayonetta down special. And now, time for the characters. Let me turn around and then fly forwards. Just like that. This move has great recovery. It does kind of work like a right option that doesn't hit the ground. It's really hard to explain. He, he just moves directly forwards like that. You see, this is... Uh, I'm a man of logic. This character denies all of it. I'm suffering. Anyways, for his up special, Revan breaks up more logic and spin upwards. Because once again, he's able to do that. And finally, for the change of rain Trader to Freddy Fazbear. Now, this is. Now, if he gets an opportunity to catch a foe, he would scream at them and launch them away. This move is also a pretty nice forward recovery and is also based on FNAF Special Delivery. Now, for Freddy's up special, we can have a static shape surround him and then he teleports. This is kind of based on how some animatronics are able to teleport to cam to cam in a split second. This probably isn't what, hap what happens, but how else can you explain it? They're super fast? I doubt it. Anyways, I still think this move is pretty cool. I'm keeping it. Shut up if you don't like it. I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. And now for his down special. Special. 
We can have them throw medicine. Now, this is as we've seen as a character named Frank, who kidnaps people. Eh, eh, eh. Um, never mind. Eh, he just gave them medicine for Smash, because why not? It's Spooky Month. Anyways, now let's get both to throw, both throw some medicine. And if it does hit a bow, then it will make both sleepy for about three seconds. But only if both skid and pump is there. Now, if skid is there, then it'll make both asleep for 1.5 seconds. Now, this move is pretty much avoidable. Only if you use the shield, dodging it, or just completely avoiding this move. It is a pretty slow, gravity effective projectile. And yeah, that's that. Now, for their us special, they'll grab some ice cream shaped like themselves and eat it. And then they eat themselves and teleport upwards. Because that is the eological thing that they are able to do. This move does not have a hitbox and will just have them simply teleport upwards. And finally, we have them put on masks. Keep it from their line of fireball. Fire to keep precise. And then launch off the homing missile. Which means it could target the nearest foe. But don't worry, it will only touch time to direct the foe that was at at the time Fireball would launch. Move does take a small second to use and about two seconds to launch. However, Toriel may use move before Fireball will launch. As she summons them, the move also does a wide amount of range and will spread all that distance. For her up special, she will actually blast herself by summoning a blast of fire to launch herself. <coughs> Blasters does a good amount of damage and may spike bows from below. This means it's fired by one of both eyes. And for a down special, that's the complete. Give this to Alright, guys. So, I think that's enough. What about both fans? I mean, bro fan one! Well, that's what we're exactly doing. I like. I like LNJ Smash more. But, so in today's video, we're going to add him. Hi Who's that? Is he even Hi a part of that? Hi Hold up, let me. Hi so he will look like that. And also, his legs are going to look like the same. So for side smash, it's going to punch, and then it fire will flame out. But like for his back smash, he will punch backwards and then flame will come out. Just the difference. And then for his up smash, he is gonna throw a rock in the air. Same as for his down smash. And now, for his specials, it's the same. It's a plan. And also, the gimmick is the same too. So, we don't have to get through that. But we have to still get through his side special, up special, and down special. So for a side special, it will have Ganondorf's sword and then slash it into a people. Just like Ice, just like Ike's side side special. And for his up special, he will use also Ganondorf's sword and then fly up. Any opponent will be caught by that will be like, will grab them and then use Link B, Link's up B. And then for his down special, it's gonna be the same as LNJ Smash down special and it's gonna literally do the same. Now let's start with the plan. What's gonna be with Lloyd, Ratchet and Clank, and a 10. Lloyd Irving wait. And by the way, the same moves that are taken are the side special and up special. Sonic thrust. 
You know, it can't always be about you, man. This is a stinger attack where Lloyd lunges forward while stabbing the Vorpal Blade straight ahead. He traveled a decent distance with it, so it can be used for a small amount of horizontal recovery, but compared to most, it doesn't go very far, and it will put him into free fall if used in the air. Sonic Thrust can only be an ender attack, and both hit by it will always be launched forward. And like I said, it can be used out of Demon Fang, letting you recreate the move called Demonic Thrust. Now for the up special, Lloyd could use his Rising Falcon Tech. This is a what goes up must come down special. It starts with Lloyd jumping into the air, then after reaching his peak height, crashes down with both swords at the front of the dive. The actual Rising doesn't have a hitbox on it. It's only when Lloyd starts to fall when it can deal any damage. That said, as Lloyd crashes down, foes in his path are guaranteed to be spiked. Pretty strong in its own right, with the big glaring flaw being that this is a what goes up must come down move. Meaning that if it's used over the blast zone, the only way Lloyd's coming back is via the respawn platform. Rising Falcon is another move that can only act as an ender, and like the dash attack, because of how it functions, it would be difficult to use in combos. So it is kind of just its own thing, predominantly being used as Lloyd's recovery, for all that it's worth. Yeah, that's another one of Lloyd's major weaknesses. His recovery is pretty lacking. So do your best to keep him on the battlefield and try to limit your time over the edge. Lastly, for Lloyd's death... Who's ready for some target practice? Cause he's busting out the head hunter. This is Ratchet's sniper rifle. Tapping the button has him fire a shot from it straight forward. It has absurd range and it deals just as absurd damage. But as you can imagine, it requires some pinpoint accuracy to actually land shots with it. And the initial start lag can make it easy to see coming. You do have the option to hold the button down for this weapon as well, though. Doing so will have Ratchet ready the headhunter, but not fire it. He'll plant himself in place, or just fall if used in the air, and from there you can use the control stick to aim the rifle up or down. Then as soon as you let the button go, he'll take the shot. A red laser also appears from the tip of the rifle that signifies where the rifle is aiming, making it a little easier for you, and your opponents for that matter, to see exactly where you're aiming at. If that laser touches an opponent, though, little circle marks will appear in random spots on their character's body. And if you are able to precisely snipe those spots, the shot fired will deal way more damage and a lot more knockback. The Headhunter overall might be a bit of a difficult weapon for some people to be able to use well, but if you just have a little bit of patience, a steady hand, and a cool head, that will make it a little easier to take off some heads. Now for the up special, this will have Plank utilize his jetpack function, activating his thrusters to shoot himself and Ratchet either straight up or straight forward. Using this will put the duo into free fall, however, if you continue holding the button down after activation, Plank will break out into a hover, slowly descending Ratchet so long as you keep the button held down. You can move left or right while hovering, but they will go into free fall as soon as the button is let go. If you use the horizontal thruster while on the ground though, this can be a great great way to close the gap or to disengage, since it has very little end lag from doing so. You can use the horizontal thruster by quickly tapping left or right during the start lag after activation. Then finally, for Ratchet's down special, use PK Beam. In terms of simple specials, this is about as simple as simple can get. Ninten fires a powerful non-elemental attack that's fired forward to deal some deceptively strong damage, launching foes away on contact. It can be slightly angled, and it does count as a projectile. And that's it. Told you it was simple. Now moving on to PSI spells that Ninten can use for his up special, he could use Fourth Dimension Slip, or just Fourth E Slip for short. In Earthbound Beginnings, this is normally just a quick flee spell, allowing Nintendo to run away from fight without fail. But this group said it will be used for similar purposes. Nintendo will hide in the fourth dimension and travel a set distance into any chosen direction, then go into free fall once he exits the dimension. This spell has no offensive capability, it's purely defensive. Since while Nintan is in that fourth dimension, he's completely invincible to everything. Nothing can hurt him since he's not really there. This guarantees Nintan with one of the safest recovery options in the game, allowing him to completely ignore edge guarding of time properly. It can also be great to safely slip away from combos and other inconvenient circumstances in general. Plus, while it will put him into free fall if used in the air, if Nintan reemerges on the ground, it has very little end lag, allowing this special to not only be an excellent disengage tool, but one for engaging as well. 
And lastly, for Nintendo. All right, guys. So for Nintendo, so for Ellen, so for Bro fans. I mean, so now the final smash. So for Ellen J Smash. Final Smash will be a cinematic. Will be a cinematic one. You will punch the opponent and then kick, and then that will launch them in the Final Smash. So then he will throw his plans at the person, and then once it's all done, the final blow will be a kick. That also got his plans. And by the way, those plans are not in his special. And also, for Brawl fans, Final Smash, it will do the same. It will throw the plans, but not the plans that's on a neutral special. And then for the final blow, it's going to be a kick. And then say... You are not my victim. I mean, you are not my plan. And then, that's the final smash. And now let's get to the characteristics. So for LNJ's second skin, it's going to be Mookie. Because that's, one, because that's part of his special. Third skin, Freddy. Fourth skin, Skid and Pump. Fifth skin, Toriel. Sixth skin, Noah. Seventh skin Sonic DXE. I'll probably set it for this neutral special, but actually not. And seventh skin Pete. Eighth skin Fall Guy. And ninth skin Crazy Dave. And tenth skin is Monica. Now, Brawl fans is. So for Brawl fans skins, the first one will be Lloyd. The second one will be Ratchet, and the third, and Clank, and the third will be Naten. And the fourth one will be Chow. The fifth will be Sly Cooper. The seventh, Sackboy. The eighth, to be The ninth, You. The tenth, Raiden. So, ten fourth songs. Now for the... Other characters, it's just going to be their taunts, but for their taunts, it's going to be like Smash Original. For, for LNJ's Smash side taunt, is his watching his. I mean, is his watching his Intellian Smash video. And by the way, this is cancelable. Same as his other taunt. And for his other taunts, it will be watched. And for his up taunts, it will be him watching his video up of Zoro Rark. Yes, this is match original. And for his down smash, it will be watching his. Video of now meow. Now for brawl fans, I will watching his Mim AQ video if he was in Smash. And all of the tots are just cancelable. So yes. That's his video. And also for his up taunt, it will do and we'll watch his video up Pokemon Trainer Jonto. And for his down taunt, we'll watch his Jabanyan video down, like sitting. And time, and for his worlds, it's gonna be this. And by the way, it is like movable. So, like, you're gonna be right here. And then. What's controllable about it is this, this, it just taps different videos, so that's their world. Bye, see you next time.